because no one can tell the blue now. Yeah, yeah. Well, I just yeah. looked at the blue because and I went, it just paper, needs a bit of um, funny. Just Some colors spread. See how that goes a bit warmer? So just by mixing it and spreading it. Oh, is it just to get it from? Oh, yes. I need the towel. I'm just going to do a blue wash over it. I think I'm just going to blue wash it. Um, I live in Armstrong Creek, so I'm not there. Armstrong Creek or Torquay. Torquay is like hilarious. There's loads of Karens on the beach at Torquay. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm scared. I'm actually scared. I know the feeling. Because I just wash it, it might take away from it. So you get nervous painting in front of people. Go for it. Well, I'm nervous about it. Remember, we're not looking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can paint over it for this as well. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. No, I just, I just, I wouldn't know whether, I'm trying to make a decision on how I do it, whether I'm going to Just a question. Um, how do you know um, what colour to use? As base to color the, you know the color. Well, they to tend to the say canvas. they. Well, they tend to say think about it in opposite. So if you're doing skin tones and portraiture, they tend to say um, to go greys because the skin tone's got more of a yellow in it. And then if it's landscape to warm the landscape up, you go with a more ochre base, very earthy tones. Okay, thank you. Have you ever watched that show? Um, I think it's like Britain's land portrait landscape artist of the year. It's a British show, and they do portrait artist of the year as well, and mm. landscape artist of the year. Yeah. So there's a group of like, I don't know, maybe eight artists, mm. and they all. Oh, it's Unreal. really really good. Yeah. And What's they, it on? The other one with blues. Uh, I think I watched it on Netflix. Foxtel or Netflix, one of those. Yeah. You could Google it, and you'd be able to watch it. But one of the ladies, she did, they were doing a, it was in a harbour, they all have to paint the same, you know, same scene, but in different angles. Yeah. And she did her underpainting in this beautiful, like, real grey blue. Yeah. And then... Went it came over, out really nice. Oh, though. it was stunning. I think she won that, that um, one. She did a container ship. Wow, well, good then. I think you can probably do it. Yeah. And I think it's yeah. just really experimenting. It's just going to change the feel of the painting, isn't it? It's just going to give it a... Um... I think the most important thing is to get the colour right. Mm. have the shades underneath. Yeah. Yeah. It's like yeah. got a very Turner-esque feel. It has, yeah. If you went, yeah. Let's just leave it. Yeah. Leave it and go home. Yeah? It's alright. <laughs> um but I need to make like a really dark blue, but I suppose if I'm not that worried about it's scary because people are staring at me. I mean I don't mind talking. <laughs> Yeah, I don't mind um, talking, but you know, okay. this is judging. <laughs> this is learning. Even if you stuff it up, it's learning. But I don't think you're going to stuff it up. It looks beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Which is too thin. Yeah, I don't think anyone really likes being washed when they're doing art. Do they? No. Yeah. It's 
Oh, oh, nice. I'm oh, that drip. I know, I'm going to leave that drip there. I like that drip. And I think this is a bit dark, this bit, but it's all right. We'll go over it with some white. I, I think I cut like, like the idea that the paint would do that. So I just want to lean into the paint. I do. Um, but, you know, and then it's working it basically from here. And you keep going and you keep going and you keep going. Um, I feel like I'm, my brush is too big and it needs to, I need to work with a better brush. Yeah. That one. Maybe I even need a real brush. I need to just hold my palette like they do. That's my alarm, you know. That's what I have to go off in the morning. <laughs> starting to go over because I'm going in thicker. It just sits on the paper better. Mm. I don't know. So. You can think of the effect you want to use. The I just want to get a sponge and go in as well. I'm just going to mix this on the surface. Why not? You do that like scumbling even. I thought it was very grey, but when I look at it, I quite like it really bluey. Yeah. Do I change the bluey tones? There's no green. There's, look, that, that way looks like there's red in it. Yes. So that's what I wonder whether I. I'm not one of them. <laughs> it's a drip of a drip. I can paint over the top of that. That's the beauty of it, isn't it? Yeah, but it's yellow, so it'll be a, you have to go over the couple of times. Nah. Nice bit of drip underneath. What's that coming to? Changing this. Oh, it's so silent and it's so scary. I've got the nail. I'm not just scared too cheap. I believe it's sort of, you don't have to, you can make it up as you go, really.
painting. You keep working, and then you just paint me at the, film me at the end. Because you need to keep painting. Oh, walk away. Oh, wow. Well, I didn't just saw the black tree now. Did you add textures to that? Oh, yeah. She added a... Reminds me a bit of a paint technique from the 90s. Remember that? Mm. The, what was it called? Suede paint. What was it called? Suede paint. Remember suede paint? Oh, yeah. Where you crossed it? I've done a few walls doing that. So I. So you can see if I go in with more white, it start to pick up, I reckon. What do you guys think? More white? More white. Is it? That's what I wanted. It's pretty nice. I actually wonder about how I'm applying it and what brush. If I tried a different brush, it might look better as well. Obviously, not the brushes from the. Uh, You're bleeding on your forehead. You're drawing. <laughs> you wait. This is pretty tame for me. Am I bleeding? I might be. I might be just Christ. What are you using for your palette? Is it a piece of acrylic? Yeah. Or glass is the best because yeah. it's actually uh, a piece of glass. Yeah. Um, you can just get a piece of glass, like a glass chopping board. Mm. Is a really good palette to use actually. Um, we've had a lot of people, students use those. That's what I'm doing too. You use the salt technique, didn't you? The salt technique. <laughs> yes. I'm teaching the salt technique in a few weeks. Oh. They got taught it last year and um, on the um, <laughs> It's probably, you catch, to be honest though, you probably got a much better. Um, did you, did you find it was good with teams because you could see clear? Uh, no, it was because of COVID we had to work. Yeah, I know, but did you find, did you see things well? Um, yes and no. Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. I think by the time they have got it right, it was almost over. Yeah. I know. I forget it even. A couple of people couldn't see. Mm. That's problem. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
We all have the same issue. Did you work out? Did they work out how to teach you with their hands above or not? Were they actually yeah. need to show? You? <coughs> Anna actually had a camera yeah. set directly over the top of the hands. Cat, yeah. that worked that. out quite well. Cat, yeah. Are you bleeding? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just. Are you bleeding into the bush? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing it. You. <laughs> yes. You got red on your face. How did you get red on? Your face? I don't know. <laughs> Because then I'm going to have to do the ocean, so then what I'm going to do is work on. 